What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode in our coverage of Dungeon Defenders 2. So right now the channel's in a really weird spot in that a lot of our series are coming to an end and yet all of the series that I have on schedule for the rest of the month are embargoed until late next week, which means that I can't play them. And so I was sitting around trying to figure out what I wanted to do about this because I can't really do a big thick series on anything in a week. However, what I could do is I could work my way through my backlog of games that I just personally haven't played yet, and Dungeon Defenders 2 is at the top of that list. And so it's been sitting inside my Steam for a long time since it came out in early access, hadn't had a chance to check it out yet. I played the first game a lot, like I had like 50 hours in the first game. I played it with my girlfriend, we beat it a bunch of times, and then I kind of just got behind because the game in and of itself... It's kind of like a tower defense MMO, almost. It's an online game, definitely, where you level up and you want to keep up with people and you want to have, like, the coolest gear and all that kind of stuff. And I think I just got behind, and then I just stopped playing it after that, and there was just way too much DLC for me to catch up. And so this offers a really unique opportunity for me to check the game out again without having to do a whole bunch of backtracking and play the first game. So we're going to play Dungeon Defenders for a little while. I'll probably only make, like... I don't know, four or five episodes of this series because it's not meant to be a permanent edifice on the channel. I just wanted to check the game out, give my first impressions, and have a good time with it while I had a little bit of space on my schedule. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it on out. I love the graphics style. It's looking good. So if you've never played Dungeon Defenders before, you're always going to get to choose your character at the beginning. Essentially, Dungeon Defenders is a tower defense MMORPG type game where you play with other people trying to defend dungeons. You level up, you get gear, you equip it. Fun stuff happens, but your character is also a combatant on the battlefield. So if you ever played Sanctum or like the first Dungeon Defenders, there's a myriad of games that actually have this same sort of motif. But Dungeon Defenders has four characters. It's got itself a wizard so he's a recommended hero right now he's a versatile ranged hero and tower builder his basic attacks deal magical damage and mark enemies he also has a super pimpin hat and an awesome collar see i would rock that all the time i would just stare at the ground and just be like are you talking to me he's got like a vv thing going on i like it we've got the squire he's a sturdy melee hero tower builder primary attack deals physical i assume that he's going to be all up in people's business with that big old sword if you're wondering why his shirt has hearts all over it it's a reference to the first game in the first game all four of these characters were kids who accidentally opened a portal to the netherworld while they're i don't know if that was exactly the story but they were all little kids in the first game who accidentally opened a portal to some horrible place while their masters were away they were apprentices and he was so quick trying to get to the battlefield that he forgot to put his pants on and so he had boxer shorts on the entire time with hearts on him so that's like a little reference to the fact that in the first game he was in his underwear the whole time so nonetheless i think when i played i was pretty sure that i played the squire in the first game and he had like bumpers he had all kinds of random stuff he could play around with the Huntress, I don't recall playing her. I don't think I ever did. It says she's a ranged hero trap builder. She deals physical damage, and she can charge to knock back single targets. We've also got the Monk. Hybrid aura building hero with melee. Okay, so he's got auras, which essentially means that he's a little bit like a paladin in any other MMO type game where he's going to give buffs to other people in the group. I wonder how viable he is as a solo player for right now, because the first couple levels you definitely like don't need other people to help out with him. However, this is a multiplayer game, so I may be joining up. I'll probably go with the wizard, you know? I played the squire in the first game, and I always wanted to play the wizard. So I'm going to go with the wizard for right now, because he looks hella dope. I like the way he looks all grown up. In the first game, he was basically like a pair of legs with a hat on. A little kid that was consumed by his entire hat. He's got a little rune on it and everything. I like it. What abilities does he have? Mana Bomb. Yep, that sounds legit. Arcane Volley. I love volleying. I don't like... Well, actually, volleyball is pretty fun if you can find people to play with. Tornado and... He oh, he can heal people too? What?! He comes with a heal. Oh, I am down. Let's do this thing. And then his name is Portario. No, his name will not be Portario. His name will be... His name will be Grubnash. Garble Gator. Yeah! I don't know why he's garbling gators, but we'll figure that out later. Grubnash is kind of a warrior name in the front, but I want him to be intimidating. Be like, oh, I am Grubnash. Like, I want him to be ready to, like, choke a fool out if he needs to. Oh, it's on now. Etheria was once a land of living legends. Years ago, young warriors stood together against an immortal evil known as the Old Ones. In the wake of this struggle, these brave heroes resealed the power of the Old Ones within mystical artifacts known as Eternia Crystals. For a time, there was peace. No. 
Now a mysterious force travels across the land, destroying the Eternia crystals one by one and liberating this ancient evil. Only a handful of crystals remain. After five years of war, even the most powerful strongholds in Etheria succumb to the onslaught of the Old One's army. Leaders and champions from across the realm are forced to put aside their differences and band together to form the Defense Council. With their options dwindling, the Council decides to gather the remaining Eternia crystals and seal them within the fortified kingdom of Dragonfall. After a long and uneventful journey, the heroes are the first to arrive. They look forward to storing the crystal behind the protected walls of Dragonfall. And finally, getting some rest. That was pretty. I like that. Oh, we're in a combat phase right now? Oh my god, wake up. The goblins are almost at the crystal. Defend it until we open the gate. I will battle. I will make with the battle lasers is. Ah, I shoot you, Gabo. Take that, you green-skinned menace. Apparently, I just come with like a default stick that owns fool. Damn, he got rocked. He's got one shot in my. F oh, he's inside of a little shieldy thing over there. Okay, fine. I will wait until you come out of the arbitrary gate before I murder you. It's necessary. Oh no, there's uh, the guys over here. What's going on on this side? Oh wow, I can glide. I believe I can fly. Ooh, I got abilities too. Did that heal me, or did that actually? Ah. Oh, I've got to hold it down. Ooh, that's pretty dope. Okay, I got this. I think they've got this direction covered. I see a lot of explosions, which makes me think that my services are not needed over here. I'm just gonna keep shooting and hope that all the goblins fall down in a comical manner. He looks pretty stoked about being dead. Hooray! I am so dead right now and it makes me happy. I am dead inside. We gotta protect our crystal from a bunch of chip heads coming from the- Ooh! Okay, so it looks like you've got a little while before the next wave of enemies arrives. Whenever you level up, you get primary stat upgrades and more. Below is a quick glance at what you have gained this level. Hooray! Advantages. Alright, so I've gotten things. We gotta grab some mana, so it wants me to go over to here. Can I sprint? No. I cannot sprint, but I can walk through this gate that was shielded previously. Oh, that's... No! Okay, so I can't pass through there. I think that's the enemy path right there that they're trying to imply. So what did I need to do? I needed to get mana. Where's the mana at? Mana! Where are you? Are you right here? Are you in the crystal cart? Let's see here. Defend the gate, bring the Eternia Crystal into Castle Dragonfall, and don't die. Seriously, don't die. It's the first map. Well, that's sort of horrific. Okay, I don't want to die. I would love to not be dead right now. Let's find out. So where is the mana at? Where the mana at, yo? I kind of want it. It's going to be delicious. Who are you? Oh, it's an adorable... I don't even know what that is. It's like a little squirrel ram. It's like a squam. I'm not really sure what to call it, but is this this thing was glowing over here and it wasn't glowing. Yay! Greetings, weird little glowy gnome with a key. What can you do for me? Oh my god. Okay, he gave me stuff. Hooray! I have mana now. That'll be good. You got some green stuff. Press 5 to place your first defense. Okay, we'll put a defense up here because it said that I should. Hooray! Oh, I'm going to laser the shit out of some fools. It is going to be... Why does it have an exclamation point? Did I get an evil little flower that shoots fire? Good. You know, flowers that shoot fire, they've gotten a bit of a bad rep. Well, I mean, large red flowers that chew people have gotten a bad rep since Mario. I guess there was no flower that really shot fire. There were bullet bills and things like that. I was going to make a Mario reference, but never mind. I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. Build and repair defenses until you run out of mana. So how do I do that? Like, how do I repair this little guy? So if I'm over here... Ooh, I can shoot a big laser if I want to. You need to use most of your green mananers. Oh, we can repair it with R. Okay. There we go. Oh, looking good on this side. We got this covered now. It is on. Like Tron at the auto bond, son. Okay, so we're going to go right there. Use up all my mana. Make things beautiful. Because obviously I can't have dented, nasty defenses in my universe. It's not okay. I don't know if there's friendly fire or anything like that that's going to get me into trouble if I shoot my own stuff. But it might happen. Oh, look. I got a little achievement thing. It said that I'm Mr. Fix-It. I knew I wasn't broken. I knew my mom was wrong. All right. Let's grab... Can I do another one of these? Yeah, I'm going to shoot some more fools on this side. How close can I stack these? Are there going to be AoEs or anything like that? 
That seems nice. Let's put you right there. Yeah. I'm not good at tower defense games. And in general, actually, tower defense games tend to be one of those things that I don't play very often. But I think if you add a hero in who, like, levels up and gets, like, gear and all kinds of stuff, I think it's going to be a little bit better of a genre for me. Got that on that side. Okay, that sounds good. I, th I think we have most of our defenses in play. Like, I can't imagine that we need more defenses right now. I mean... I guess I could drop another one in right there, just in case I wanted to merc some fools. And then we'll put one in, like, right here. Yay! Green mana has been expended! Oh, they keep giving me more. Give me more, more, more! Hit G when you're ready to fight. Why would I hit G? He's been my friend since we were kids. Why would I hit him? Hitting is not a good way to initiate combat. Well, it's a pretty good way to... I guess functionally hitting G is a good way to start combat with him. But it's definitely not a good way to maintain... What does an ice cart do? Oh, shit! It shoots... What?! Oh, I wasted it. I want to hit people with a giant brick of ice. I want to annihilate these squares. Yeah! Lasering! Green skin death. They're like, we just want to use your restroom! That's the thing that they never... T oh, look, we can pick up... <gasps> they have little clickies that I can pick up? That's one of my big addictions in life, is little things on the ground that go ding a -ling, ding a -ling, ding when you pick them up. ding a -ling, ding a -ling, ding a -ling, ding a -ling. Makes me happy. Makes me super stoked. Like, really, I sincerely... I like little jingly things that you pick up off the ground. I think it's actually... It's got to be something... I don't know if it's for every human being, but most games where, like, coins and stuff fall on the ground and you get to run over them and pick up, like, hundreds of them at the same time. Oh, I love that so much. When they go, jingle, jingle, jing. Oh, I'm going to shoot this guy with a big laser. hoo -yo! Damn, that did a ton of damage. What is that? A worn medallion. Well, I'll take it because I'm low level and therefore I am required to get hand-me-down gear. Let's take this over here. Now, worn, they never really explain if that means that it was worn by somebody or that it's worn out. See, that's what always confuses me in RPGs. They never split the hair properly. Hey, what's up, guys? You want to give me some of your weird little crystally things? I think the blue ones probably give you health, and it looks like the green ones are giving me... Don't slice me with your sword. Oh, I am so glad that these turrets are precision. I'd be a little bit upset right now if I got blasted in the back by my own creation. It would be a downer. I love how everything's colorful. It's all got like a World of Warcrafty feeling to it. I see cartoony. What is this? <gasps> a novice's stave. Yay! Maybe that'll help us stave off our own nubity. Make us a little bit better so that we can punch things better in the face. I mean, we don't do a lot of punching as a wizard, but you get what I mean. I think they're doing okay on that side. It looks like we're chilling on this side. Hey, it's a warbor. Medium melee, tougher than goblins, a swing mat. By the way, this is early access, so there's not going to be music, and like some of the things will not be implemented yet, in case you were wondering. You, if you were like, why is there no music right there for its little Tarantino-esque introduction, where they were like, Hugo Stiglitz. Like, you know how they do that whole thing? Oh, no. Grab some mana and set up new... No, they shot down my gate over here. Oh, bastards. Why would you do such a terrible thing? Can my defenses shoot downwards? Like, if I put them on this bridge, can they shoot down? Will that work right there? Or is that too far? It sort of feels like it's going to be too far. We want to maximize the amount of this triangle that's actually got enemies inside. I'm going to put it right there. And then all of our other stuff got destroyed. So I'm a little bit worried about where I want to put this, but I'm sure it'll be semi-okay. I mean, they might run up and punch this in the face, and then it'll totally suck, and it'll make me sad, and I'll want to cry because my defenses are like my children because I don't have a very healthy social life. And so, I don't know. Put that right there. That sounds okay to me, although that was kind of a bad placement. Oh, well, I can live with it. Is there like a, can I take this back? Oh, good, I can. Hooray. This is going to get a lot faster, by the way. In some of the later levels, I remember it was really, really hectic in the first game where you had to get stuff put down like right now. Otherwise, you were not going to have enough defenses up. And sometimes you had like dozens of defenses to place in maybe like a minute and a half. You had to fly. You had to be super quick about it. So let's say that, oh, you can aim it too? Well, I'm going to have you right there then. Yeah, I will have you where I desire, random little piece of machinery that I conjure with my magical energies. It seems sort of weird that we conjure mechanical stuff with our magic. Like, shouldn't we conjure magical stuff with our magic? I don't know. I always see mechanical stuff as being like the opposite of magic. There, because magic's supposed to be all natural, right? I don't know. I see it as kind of like the green solution to random, like, medicine and also warfare and shooting. Let's play! Combat phase! I will mo Oh, you've got mana for me again? Oh, had I known that... Had I known... Did I need defenses? Oh, no, I didn't have defenses over here either. 
This is all bad. Okay, so I need, like, you guys. Hold on. I gotta hold off enemies real fast. I've got to murder because I'm bad at plant. No, he's got bombs. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Okay, so now we've got time. I'm gonna go ahead and block this off the best that I can with everything I can place here. Oh, it cancels out if you hit five twice. Okay, so you gotta wait till that one's done before you can place a new one. I'm gonna help out over here. Big laser! Yeah! I don't think my defenses are doing well over here. I'm not so certain that they're gonna make it. Let me get rid of this big guy real fast, and then also maybe put one down right there. How are we doing on this side? Oh, they are chewing the shit out of one of my plants. No, Robo Plant, I love you! And now you're gone, just like you were here. So quickly, so beautiful, so innocent. Poor Robo Plant, you were my bestest friends. Oh, dude, I keep doing it. I keep doing it because I'm an idiot. All right, there we go. I got this covered now. I gotta get used. There's like a little learning curve here. There's a little meter that fills up on the side as you try to build your stuff. And I wasn't noticing it until just now, but now I have noticed it, which means that it is on. Oh, he's got so much health left. Eh. I blast you. No, get away from my crystal. Get away from my crystal, you chip-headed bastard. No, my crystal cart. Please stop. It's my favorite possession. It's the only shiny thing that I own. I grew up poor. Please don't do this. <laughs> Yeah, Victor. Do I get my gear? Can I pick that up? I want that stuff over there. Does that go into a a flamingo staff? I guess it could be like a flamenco staff, and like pink, 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 and we could like do a little dance with it. I'll take the flamingos though. I think we get a treasure chest too. What does that do? Hold on, I want my I want my treasure. Thanks for your help. Level squad transport the crystal. Oh, we're level three too. Okay, so that should be fun. What does that do? A journeyman stave. That was super awesome and made me super happy in a number of very unique ways. It looks like we got a whole lot of staff options, so we can just like match it to our clothing. We have wardrobe options right now, which is always what I'm worried about before I go into a combat zone. It's like, well, how can I orchestrate this and make it look good with the rest of my outfit? You know, it's an important thing for me. I believe that perhaps we are supposed to skip the in-game timer. So let's let me go look around for gear real fast though. I don't know what even fell over here, so there might be something sexy. Oh, we got 250 gold. Hooray. That'll be I don't know what we spend that on. I would assume new shoes and I don't know, shiny sundries to make us more popular in socialite society. I'm not really sure. We'll figure it out in a minute. I told you this is my like this is kind of like a series for me that I had no idea that I was even going to do. I went through my backlog at the beginning of the day and I was just like, "Well, let's do some dungeon defenders, I guess." All right, let's do G right there. That sounds good. So 1,500. We got waves, no boost. We got some gloves, our greatest finds. We got worn gloves and some other cool stuff. Our team stats, we don't have any friends, so that's not going to be filled in right now. To the tavern for copious drinking. Obviously, that's the way you celebrate after you kill a bunch of monsters who just wanted to use your outhouse. Oh, look, there's other people inside the tavern. There's other people here. Visit the knight commander. Okay. Does that mean that he commands knights? Or is he, like, a ranking knight who is then the commander of other knights? I think it's pretty self-explanatory. We have items, apparently, so I don't know what that does. Okay, so apparently I get a cool pimping hat, and it looks like there's some kind of premium currency or something. I'm not really sure. Is it in my mailbox right now? Oh, it is. Good. Well, let's go ahead and take everything out of here. Yay! A Squire Early Access thingy. Two hero creation slots. Sure, whatever. Sounds good to me. We'll grab all that stuff from out of here. And then is the war table where the knight command... Oh, that guy looks badass. How do I look like that dude? That dude looks legit as hell. He's got like a Uclangor kill thing going on. Oh, man. How do I open my... Oh, inventory. Okay, so I can press I. And it looks like I can get skill spheres. It also looks like I have some kind of deck with some cards I can play around with. I can also have weapons. So we have Luminous Guardian. That one does, I think all these do like 23. Yeah, it looks like they all do 23. So maybe we just take the one that looks the cool. What is this? Oh, it wants me to visit the Night Command. That's cool. Stop blinking at me. It'll be okay. We'll get there in just a minute. What about this dope ass hat? an invalid gear slot? Well, where do I put my dope-ass hat at? Oh, man. 
So that one goes in a relic slot. That one looks like it goes in a hand slot. That one looks like it goes nowhere for right now. Maybe I need like an extra slot or something before I can use that. What does this do? Oh, it's a fiery stave of monster death. What does this pink plastic stave do? Oh, that one's got crystals. That's kind of cool. I'm just going to go with what you... Ooh, we've got a powerful medallion right there. Why didn't I take that? Ooh, that one's got six defense power. Hell yeah. Okay, so what does this do? I kind of like that one, but at the same time, I sort of like this little guy over here too, but it doesn't do as much damage. I'm going to go with the flamingo, because why not? It's got an animal involved with it, and I like animals. Animals are fun. Oh, there he is right there. He would be the guy with the giant glowing thing above. Damn, son, how do I get armor like yours? He's like, don't be a wizard. Get in there and punch shit, sonny. You kids did a good job getting the crystal to Dragonfall. Our scouts are reporting a large number of enemies still heading to the city, so you'll have to be ready. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Hooray, Zelda references. He gave me a powerful item. Items can be equipped at the forge and increase your power. That large man with the blood stain on his smock laughed at me. Why does a tavern keeper have blood on his smock? It gets violent around here, doesn't it? So I can open a forge and I can try to equip an item for my inventory. Oh, cool. Yay! What does this do? A powerful ring. Oh, well, I don't want to equip that. I just got this one in the first mission. And that one gives me crit chances. This one also gives me crit chances, though, so it's basically like an upgrade for this one. If I go into cell mode, now what happens? Go away! I desire coinage so that I can buy stuff so that I will not be a loser forever. Yay! 465 gold coins! I really sincerely hope that there's not a lot of inflation at play in this world because I like to feel wealthy. Let's see here. Daddy needs to buy himself a new wizard Rolex. We've got the war table. The war table! In the war table, we can go to a quick match type. It looks like we can go to the gates of Dragonfall or we can go to the Dragonfall Bazaar. So in the campaign type, oh, we can actually go to different stuff here. So we've got campaigns. And then it looks like we've got like rando. I'm not really so sure what this does, but I figure we'll check it out in just a Are those supposed to be tubes from Mario? I think they're just little green rings, but they kind of look like Mario tubes. I mean, we can leave it open to other people. I don't care if anybody else comes along. Yeah, let's do it. Find a match and then light it. You do not have any bags marked as auto collect. Are you sure that you wish to proceed? Wait, what does auto collect mean? Hold on, what is that? I'm confused. So we completed a quest. We talked to the knight commander. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of new armor and gear. That was one of my big pet peeves about the first game is I didn't like that you didn't change the way that you looked when you picked up new gear and stuff. So I figure, oh, he's got a little, look at that. He's got, he's got a little Tien hat or Chiaotzu hat. It's not Tien's hat, that's Chiaotzu's hat. It's got the little poof ball on top. You know, I always felt bad for Chiaotzu. His only ability is that he could blow the hell up. And I was like, well, that seems sort of lackluster. Your ability is that you blow up and kill yourself. So, we have to defend Dragonfall Bazaar. I don't know what it means when it says that I don't have auto collecty things. I assume that it means like maybe, oh, I could put that on auto collect so that it picks up all the stuff that drops. I'm gonna call this my Skrills. There we go. So I got my Skrills up in there. And I don't want to talk to people on the internet. I have social anxiety. I can feel myself crumbling before the weight of public perception as we speak. Okay, so we've got... That right there, find a match, let's do this thing. Joining game in seven, nope. Joining game in six, joining game in five. I wanna see another cool looking, damn, look at that sword right there. What are you, a Jedi? Jesus, how do I look awesome? I mean, he's got a big ball on the end of his staff. This guy over here definitely looks like he's up to something. I don't trust that guy at all. Oh look, it's starting now. Hmm. Okay, this is a low-key day for me. I don't know if you can tell so far. It's a very low-key day for me where I'm just like, man, I don't mean a low-key day for me like I'm actually conjuring and trying to overthrow Thor or anything like that. I'm not messing with Jotunheim or anything. I mean that it's just a day where I woke up and I was like, I want to play some games, but there's nothing really on the schedule. So we're going to be sort of not really, I'm not going to say unprofessional, but we're going to be a little bit more casual about the whole thing. Ooh, hey, what's going on, man of thingamadoobie? So do I have a build phase? I've been here since before there was even a dragon fall. I'm not going anywhere. Do I have to defend you? Okay, so the path of the monsters. On the path of the monsters! It looks like the monsters have a path over here. Is there a place where... It looks like we also have to defend a great control. I guess that's better than a not so great control, but I don't really know how that's going to help me. I'm going to put this up right here. 
There goes our first turret. It looks like everything builds in the interim periods. That over there is my secondary objective. Okay, so I've got a secondary objective and I've got a primary objective. I think my goal for right now is I've got enough mana to place eight turrets. And I don't really have like a ton of options here, so I'll probably just put down like four right here and hope that that lasts. And then we've got the main street junction right here. Is there anything I have to defend on this side? It looks like they have to get around this corner before anything else can be defended. So I'll put you right there. Hopefully there's no AoEs or anything to worry about. Put you right there. And then I'll put you like right here maybe. And then I'll put you right here. Yeah, I'm feeling good. I am the commander. I am your lord. Your wizard lord. Take everything. Well, take nothing from me, but you know what I mean. Go forth, turrets. Destroy mine enemies. Or mine my enemies. It doesn't really matter to me. What is this thing over here? Oh, it's the Defender's Forge. Okay. I knew that. Combat phase. Better a combat phase than a wombat phase, because I don't know if I could hurt wombats. They're kind of adorable, and I want one as a pet. I shoot you from lo Oh, no. There's a third. Oh, shit. Eh! I messed up. I made a mistake. So it looks like I'm going to be manning this area by myself. Please don't hit my cart. Please don't hit my cart. Please don't hit my cart. It's a song that I'm working on. I'm preparing it for its radio release. I think it's going to be pretty dope. I think people are going to be into it. What does this tornado thing do? I don't want it to be said that I never used my tornado before the end of the first episode. So I'm going to go for it now. Okay, so are you guys holding out okay over here? Other turrets, what are you up to? See, I enjoy tower defense games. You will know that I have, like, a thing against tower defense games, but I enjoy them as long as it's not where you just, like, sit and watch stuff happen. I like being on the battlefield, Diablo-style, like, fighting with enemies. It's one of the reasons that I like Sanctum, too, and also one of the reasons I liked Orcs Must Die. Exact same reason. I just don't like tower defense games where you're passive and you just sit there and watch things happen. It's not attractive to me. But in a game where I can actually, like, run around and do stuff, what is this? Is it a bullet? It's a totem. Never mind. I thought maybe I got, like, a bullet or some kind of, like, rowdy sex toy or something. What is that right there? Oh, that's going to be health. Okay. It looks like they are attacking my turrets over here. Did they make any... Are they making any headway in that regard? Yay! We've leveled up to four and we've made it through our build phase. I'm actually going to cut this episode a little bit longer because why not? Who cares? It's a super easy day. i got to stream a little bit later. Not on the day, so this is going to go up. And then you guys are going to be like, Oh my god, Splattercat stream. It's not... No. I, I mean, just like the day that I'm recording this, I personally have to go and stream. It doesn't mean there's a stream tonight. Literally, when this video goes up on the internet. But you get what, you get what I mean. At least I hope you get what I mean. Yada da boo boo. Yada da I'm saying no. Alright, so put that on that side. Put that... I don't know. Here, defend the forge. Yes. Can I put that... I can put it on top of the stall? Well, let's do that then. I feel like this would be a really, really good opportunity for me to make a joke about Stalin, like the world leader, but I don't know. I guess you could say that... I mean, already that defense is, is Stalin, and so I don't think we actually have to take this in like a historical direction. I feel like the joke is already sort of done from just a prop comedy standpoint, and I realize prop comedy is kind of a dirty word for some people, but... Works for me. I'm gonna put those down right there, and then I think we good. So let's go ahead and start this thing off. Oh, H gets rid of your HUD, just in case you don't like having a HUD. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going to shoot you. You have a large jaw, sir. What, did you get dentition worked on today? I had a big jaw one time. When I had to go to school afterwards, after I got a tooth pulled, my face was all swelled up. And people made jokes! And it destroyed my entire life, and that's how I became a YouTuber. The short story of Splattercat. Getting a tooth pulled wasn't actually that bad. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it actually was. So if you're like a kid right now, and your parents are taking you to get a tooth pulled... It's not like, I mean, assuming that they use Novocaine, I mean, if they just yank that bastard out of there without actually numbing it, which, why would they do that? That seems like a really harsh thing to do. Like, why would they do that to you? Still, at the same time, it wasn't that bad. I distinctly remember, like, a weird tugging sensation, though, like, when they, they numb the tooth. It gives it, like, a weird feeling when they tug on it, because you can't really feel it, but you can feel the pressure, so you know that it should hurt, and so you kind of, like, should I simulate pain here and be like, ah? My doctor or my dentist said that too. He was like, yeah, a lot of people confuse discomfort with pain. And I'd be like, agreed. I go to the gym with a lot of people who like think that discomfort is pain. And I'd be like, eh, discomfort and pain are two different things. Discomfort's okay. Pain means you should probably stop. Is anything still invading right now? I think that we're like golden. I'm just going to hang out over here and maybe help out with some murder. Yeah. Ooh, what is that? 
It's got a thing on the end of it. It only does 12 damage, so I'll probably just vendor it. We're back on our bill phase. What's going on now? A javelin thrower. Medium range outranges towers. Javelins pierce targets. Oh, that sounds brutal. That does not sound good. I wonder if I can trick him by putting something like around a corner. So he has to stay on the path to get around the corner. And then when he corners, he gets zapped in the face. What does Z do? It said something at the bottom right hand corner. I didn't see it because it closed. Oh, we can put it in cell mode and we can move our towers around. Do I buy new towers somehow? Like, I, should I be doing that? Should I be, like, getting new towers or something? Or do I just have what I have? Hmm. I feel like I should have more towers right now, but I'm not totally sure about it. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Oh, look at that. It flat. Oh, he's got 3,400. Jesus. That's not good. Okay, well, at least it, like, labels where he... Oh, he's bigger than I expected him to be. I thought that melee class would be a lot bigger. I think we're just going to have to get in on this guy. we have to go all in right here. Let's give him some mana. Let's get him spun up a little bit. Oh, I don't think that I can hurt him in the way that I wish that I could hurt him. I mean, if he wants to destroy that defense right there, that's fine by me. Keep working on it, pal. Make yourself feel better. I'm just going to keep spamming. Oh, never mind. I was gonna... What is this? We got a six. We got a new thing. What does that do? I place you. Hold on. Stay away from my new thing. It's in construction. It's not ready. It is not ready for the general public. Stop. No. That'd be pretty lame if we had a super bitchin' theme park inside of our city and all they want to do. Oh, it's like a tanking thing. Okay. So I think it makes them really, really, really want to attack it. There's not another one of these guys running around, is there? I just wanted to make sure because you could never quite tell. I mean, sometimes I get tunnel vision, and when I get tunnel vision, unfortunately, things don't tend to go well for me. I could see myself playing this game quite a bit more, in fact. I may install this on my laptop and get down on some Netflix and chill with it. We've got some gear over here. Yeah, I want all this. Give me all your shiz. And then up this side, it looks like... Hey, we have victory! My name is Splattercat. This is Dungeon Defenders 2. I'm going to break off the episode right here, and I will see you. That guy is pouting on the roof. How can you pout when you're on a roof? Roofs are the best. Anyways, I'm going to see you all in the next episode. I'll let you know what I get out of this treasure chest. Hi, everybody. Dungeon Defenders 2. Check it out on Steam.